Okay, well, we're gonna just finish up this tree by thinning it out a little bit. Um, we don't want to take too much more off. We don't want to end up stressing the tree out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and if we remove this, you'd have a hole in the tree. We don't want to really do that. So, what we're gonna do, since this is the fuller section, we're gonna subordinate this branch. We're gonna go ahead and cut it back right to here with our hand pruners and this now will become a dominant branch. Um, we'll also take this one out of here. We could go ahead and take this top piece over here. Now you might say well how do I choose what branch I want it to go back to? The branch you cut back to should be at least one third in the diameter of the branch that you've cut it back to. As you can see here, it's pretty much almost half. So we're good on this part. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and take this one out. This one's growing more upright. Uh, I'm gonna take this little piece off here and with a nice cut, we'll get rid of that. We'll go ahead and uh, this one's kind of hanging down into this branch, so we'll remove this one as well. Give it a little further one over. This is actually kind of low. We did cut it, but we're going to go ahead and cut it again just to get it out of there. We need to raise up the canopy a little bit. We'll get rid of this branch right here since it's going to be growing into another one. You have this branch that hangs out over here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of uh, this branch here to kind of even out the tree a little bit. All clean cuts. You have to make sure that they're clean. What else do we have? We could take out this. Well, we're going to go ahead and leave these branches here. Typically, we would thin them out. But I want to get rid of this eventually one day. As you can see, it's growing straight up. It's a big branch. It's going to be competing with the rest. We want to go with one main leader, and this is going to end up being too big. So we'll take this off here in a couple of years once the rest of the growth continues to grow out and fills that in. Take a step back. You got to come around the tree. Just visualize everything see if there's anything that you missed um, like for example right here I want to go ahead and clean this area out you've got a little growth that's growing on the main stem we're just gonna go ahead and trim out some of these um, you don't want to go too high up you don't want to do what's called lion's tailing you just want to take off a little bit to make the air be able to flow through um, wind, uh, if it can't get through it, it, it'll do more damage. So you just want to kind of also thin it out. This tree isn't that wide. It's not mature. It doesn't need a lot removed. We just kind of want to selectively prune and f take out what obviously needs to come out and leave the rest. The more you leave, the better for the tree. Now if you just step back, you can appreciate the tree. It's still full. We've helped it out dramatically. We've gone ahead and taken out a, 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 a co-dominant stem. Well, it wasn't co-dominant, but an off stem that had included bark. We've taken care of rubbing branches. We took care of a co-dominant leader off the top. We thinned it out. We raised the canopy. This tree is good to go for the next couple of years, but we're going to come back next year and take a little bit more out of it. Um, not too much more. It won't be definitely nearly as drastic as this one was, but you can see the foliage on the ground. This is what we took out of the tree, and you can see the foliage that is in the tree still. Um, we went a, probably just a hair over our 25%, but we're still in good shape. I thank you for joining us. I hope you learned a little bit about the proper way of trimming your tree. 
mulch is great. You won't have the root issues if you plant the tree proper at the proper height. You don't make sure that the roots are going in a circle, girdling when you take them out of the pot or they're in the burlap before you put them in the ground. Planting them is very important. You got to make sure that that's where the basis is. Without proper pruning and maintenance, you won't have. I'm sorry, I screwed up.